Hello everyone, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am happy to come your way again. My name is Hosanna David. The Lord gave me this message and I want to give us this message. It is not for the whole world. It is a message to America. I want to also let us know that the Lord has revealed these things to me. So months back, I had a revelation I saw uh, President Donald Trump. When I saw him, he, the Lord drew my attention to what he was putting on. He was putting on a suit and he was so slim, he machiated that his body frame become, became so, so thin. And the Lord told me, do you know why President Donald Trump emaciated like this? It is because people who are supposed to pray for him and no longer praying for him. And the Lord said, people should pray for him. People should withdraw from him. Christians, please stand by Donald Trump. The Lord will use him to put some things in place in this particular time that we are in. This is a message that the Lord gave me in the month of July 2017. It is straight to America. America is a major part of the tools on which the nations of the earth stand. Her fault shall be the fall of a number of nations. Let all who love Israel pray for America and her leaders. I don't know why the Lord says, let those who love Israel pray for America. I don't understand it, but I have to pass the message the same way the Lord gave it to me. Just as a boiled yolk of an egg breaks easily when it is troubled, at that point did God raise Donald Trump. But the plan of Satan for this great nation, at this time, jet fighters would have been five would have been flying over the skies just as birds fly over a beautiful garden. The same way a sea breaks loose and overflows its bats and runs into a city, so wars would have brought poverty to you. Let my servants unseal their lips and speak for me now that they have the time, because this favorable weather shall not be for long. At this point in time, I had a vision. I saw President Donald Trump with many white beards. He had so many white beards on his face. A voice spoke and said, With wisdom and the heart of the fearless have we endowed him. But let my children know that he is a man. Therefore, he should not be left to stand alone. Let intercessors keep their knees bowed in prayer so that his knees will not bow to the pressure of evil. This is a message that the Lord gave to me. Please let people pray for Donald Trump. We all know that there is real corruption in the U.S. Lots of institutions like the CIA, we know that everything is not okay. Satanism has been enthroned, especially the eight years of president, former President Barack Obama has brought a lot of rot to America and he promoted Satanism in diverse means. Now that we have a man, though he is a man, we can trust him 100%. Let us pray for him so that he will not bow to the pressure of evil in this particular land. America is influential. If, it's, if America stands, the nations of the world will also stand. If America falls, the nations of the world are going to be affected negatively. Please pray for America. Pray for our leaders and pray for the Christians in America so that they can have a good time to spread the word of God before the second coming of Jesus Christ. Please be strong in your Christianity. Uh, forget about 
what people call hate speech. Speak the truth and stand for the truth that you know. The Lord God Almighty will come to take us home. But before we go home, let us stand and speak the truth and also pray for our people who are representing us. Thank you. God bless you.